gamers here. Today we've got something very special on our workbench. In case if you've been living under a rock for the past month and missed all of the hype on our Twitch live streams, Twitter feed, and our Steam discussion board, we are going to be taking a look at the CSIO Technologies Eaton Fuller Shift Knob. We will be the first ones to do so since we went out and picked ours up straight from the guys that are making it. Just to recap, for those of you that may or may not remember, back when American Truck Sim came out just a few short months ago, a lot of people were telling me and asking me if I could use the Eaton Fuller setup that is built into American Truck. And I kind of tried it, but I really didn't want to stick with it. I raged a little bit because we never had the appropriate setup for working the splitter as well as the high and low. We didn't have any buttons and I was using some of the extra ones on the G27 here to do it and it was really not that great trying to reach forward with your fingers and hit these buttons while you're in the middle of a shift. It didn't feel very natural. And I said I wasn't going to use the Eaton Fuller setup anymore until we could figure out a way to go ahead and find something better. Well, we had an attempt at making it work with a Logitech joystick and that went okay, although I never got mine converted. One of our other guys did and we talked about that in driver log number one. And then a miracle happened. A couple of really clever guys over in the Twin Cities, not too far from here, took a Eaton Fuller shift knob out of a big rig and they managed to get a set of switches to work on those buttons so that we could actually hook that up to any Logitech or Thrustmaster shift setup and actually have the real deal, the real knob that they use in the semi trucks today. But the problem was it was going to take a little bit of funds in order to get that setup made and get it to where it was plug and play on the PC and didn't require a whole bunch of stuff on your end as far as trying to mod the thing yourself. So they started a Kickstarter campaign back in March and needed six grand to get it done. Nearly $22,000 later and many more backers than they anticipated, plus not to mention the fact that SCS, the makers of American and Euro Truck, they jumped on board and we got the shift knob that we were looking for today. And like I said, nobody else has got a hold of one of these yet. We went out yesterday, picked it up, first ones to have it. I think they're planning on starting a ship in May. That's what they said all along. They're currently in the process of, of getting them all manufactured and put together. We're going to set that thing up today. And this is going to be my first time setting it up. I've taken it out of the box, but I haven't actually gone ahead and uh, tried using her yet. So this is going to be the unboxing and setup video. Well, let's get straight to it and see what comes in this handy little box. First thing is when you open it up, you get this nice little thank you card that greets you. I thought that was a real professional touch there. Just has your name on it. Says, uh, here's your Logitech. We also got the Thrustmaster Edition, and I'll explain what that is in a minute. And it also just uh, gives you the information for install instructions with their website, their email, and it's got their names, and they went ahead and they've signed it. All right, next up on here, this is the beauty itself. We're going to pull this out of the bag. And I already had it out, was looking at it earlier. So it basically has two screws that also go in here. And I've already pulled those out because I wanted to slide this off on the video. This is really what I think the whole Kickstarter campaign was all about right here. And I'm not going to get into all the tech details because I'm not the guy making them. But I think it's this little USB board right here that is the reason for the Kickstarter. They had to get a specific USB board, but again, don't quote me on that. What I wanted to show you though was the adapter here. I think this one here is set up for the Logitech and it just bolts right in there. It looks like it's a nice machine piece of aluminum. Has a set screw. We're going to get to that here in just a minute. Not really too much else. You've just got a bunch of kind of a big housing here. I think that's for the original pneumatic controls. Are. And it is a little bit heavy, but it's not near as heavy as I thought it was going to be. So not too bad, but it uh, looks very stout. This is the medallion on here. I did pop this out. They're going to have some that you can get that are interchangeable. 
And uh, under there, there's a few wires and things like that, but you can check out their website and uh, get all kinds of more info as far as what's going on with the, with the different deals. So here's your high-low switch, and of course the splitter over here. We'll definitely be showing this on our Twitch live streams. And of course I'll have kind of a little bit of a review video. So one last thing to point out real quick here, and I do apologize if I got off the camera a little bit there. Uh, you do have the little USB deal here, and that's where you're gonna plug in the USB cable I'll show you in just a second. I do think though on mine I'm possibly going to maybe take a little bit of electrical tape and go around there. Just I just feel like rough is you know as rough as things can get around here that I just worry about ripping this off but it seems like it's really really good you know I don't, I don't think it's anything to worry about and uh, again I'm no expert on it I'm just you know just a customer here and uh, everything looks super nice and durable this by the way is the next thing we'll pull out of the box this is a $20 adapter $20 adapter that he had talked about Corey talked about it on one of his live streams and I, this is for the Thrustmaster. I wanted both because right now we're using Logitech, but I'm planning on switching over to Thrustmaster here very soon, if not in the next few days to a week. But this, I believe, just bolts right up in place there. And the thing, the reason why I really want to go to a Thrustmaster, see if you can see this on the camera, there's threads in there. And I guess this was 20 bucks because of the cost of to machine it. I don't think they're trying to get rich off of selling aluminum doohickeys here, but uh, basically this right here would screw on instead of the sliding on, how that would slide on and then you've got the set screw. And you know, because when you take the ball off, which I've never done on the G27, it's just a smooth kind of a post. And so that thing will just set on there like that. Well, technically like that. So I'm kind of looking at this, and that's why I asked for the adapter. Once I got the adapter, it literally sold me on the shifter. I'm like, man, having that sucker screwed on tight and everything snug and fit, I mean, that just looks too darn good. So we'll, we'll see what happens. I haven't 100% made up my mind, but I'm about 99% there. So um, not that, again, there's anything wrong with this. I do know that he even said... The Thrustmaster is a lot more durable, and I don't have one to show you, but they're going to actually be making a custom plate since Thrustmaster, I guess, is a 1 through 7 and in reverse. They're going to cut out that 7 in reverse. But anyways, moving on, we're going to set this bad boy over here. We've already got the adapter, and again, this goes on just like that. And I'm going to go ahead and place my two screws in there, and we can go ahead and get right in. That's what you're looking at in there. That's that's right where the USB will plug in and that's the last thing we're gonna pull out of the box is what else comes with it. There's a couple of things in here. Uh, that's gonna plug right into that little USB board. That's gonna plug into your microwave right there. Uh, actually your computer. And then of course, uh, can't forget about the little Allen key that they throw in there as well. You gotta have that. And the last thing that fell on the floor a second ago was the little Velcro strap that uh, basically, well that's quite sticky. Um, basically that is going to go around, plug in, and you're gonna go right around here like that to kinda hold her all in, hold her all in place. Like I said, you, I'll probably use this for sure, but uh, I think I'm gonna maybe do a little bit of tape on mine as well because you know I just don't want to have the thing get tugged and honestly <laughs> I don't think that would happen but I'd rather break a USB port on uh, my USB hub or something than to uh, to break this guy. Well that's all that you get in the box so we're gonna go ahead and throw that over here and we'll go ahead and get it on the shifter. I guess it only takes just a minute to do it looks super easy so let's get to it. All right first thing you're gonna do on the G27 and I'm not sure on the G29 since we don't have one of those here, but just pop the little cap off right there. And Phillips screwdriver it looks like. Oh yeah, the ball pops right off. And it looks like the screw won't even uh, come out of there, so that's nice. We can go ahead and put that back and uh, throw that aside for when we're back into doing racing games. Here's a smooth post for the G27. Now the backside, which I can't show you on the camera at the moment, 
it is uh, real flat so that set screw is going to press right into there and that should uh, should work out real nice and before I go too far I've backed that screw out I'm going to pop that off one last time and I'm going to go ahead and feed my cable through like that get her plugged in nice and tight and I'll gently feed that all back up on there again just like that now granted you don't have to do this step but I was curious what was going on in there and I wanted to have a good look at that USB board so naturally I had to uh, had to tape these screws out yesterday so you don't have to pull this piece of plastic off you can you can reach in and plug that in right there this thing really is just something that you literally remove one screw on the ball you set this puppy on there you plug it you play it we're not going to do a whole setup video and how to uh, get it working and all that. it's plug and play by the time you all get this, it will be plug and play. Okay, now the fun part, we get to go ahead and slide that on there. Looks like it's pretty good. All I'm doing is just tightening that screw on the back there. It took just a couple of turns, and you know what? That really uh, doesn't even twist that much at all. I'm really surprised how nice that actually does feel on there. We'll go ahead and slap this around here. I'm going to do some adjusting later, but... Uh, that kind of holds her all in place and that's how she works right there and we've got our switches on here so should work pretty good I can't wait to get it plugged into the computer and give her a shot well there you have it folks I'll make sure to get all the links that you'll need to know as far as where to go and pre-orders are going on right now as we speak I think the pre-orders are going to be delivered in June of course, the Kickstart, everyone that Kickstart, they're going to be getting these in May next month. Don't forget that we are going to be streaming a ton, and I'm going to have a webcam set up right off to the side so that you guys will be able to watch this thing in action all throughout the American, and we'll be doing some Euro Truck on our twitch.tv slash gunninggamers, so make sure you get over, follow, check that out. That'll be happening, well, basically every time we play American and Euro Truck. Also, make sure you're following us over on Twitter. Lots of important news and announcements over there. And you may leave a like on this video if you wish. Leave a comment if you would like. And until next time, take care.